The British Army has purchased large numbers of vehicles as urgent operational requirements, particularly for Afghanistan. Many of these are now being taken into call. This particular vehicle is a US Navistar vehicle, which has got a here fitted with a mine clearing system developed by Pearson called Barbican. This was again developed very rapidly and fielded to Afghanistan about a year ago um, and is designed to be fitted to light vehicles. Pearson do a complete family of mine clearing systems of the plough type and roller type but obviously different types of system have to be different vehicles. This particular one, which is the UK name of Barbican, has been designed to fit on light armour vehicles. This particular one is fitted on a Husky which has got a protected four-door cab with the engine at the front and a load area at the rear. Um, it is also normally fitted with devices to uh, counter IEDs and these are mounted at the very back but not shown here. Um, the load area is at the very rear and again it is not protected so you can see here the maximum amount of protection of the vehicle is to the central crew compartment. So if the vehicle goes over a mine the, the, the crew compartment will be protected. You can see the hole underneath it is bent to provide a high level of protection and the, 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 the wheels hopefully will blow away so the whole central crew compartment will remain intact. It is fitted with Bowman of course, the Army's communication system and um, an air conditioning system. Some vehicles are fitted with the remote weapon station. Other vehicles like this one are fitted with what we call a protected weapon station in which the commander or the gunner still has to be it, almost in front of the weapon. But the fact is these are much lighter. Some of the remote weapon stations are very heavy and that moves the centre of gravity too high. As you can see it's got um, bullet splinter proof windows for improved situation awareness and a large number of these vehicles have been built and this particular one, most of them will go in the British Army Corps programme. Made by Navistar Defence, comes out of the UK, fitted with government furnished equipment, then deployed by the British Army.